What's up, y'all? Desmond here. And we are checking out my very first all stage unlimited extreme difficulty and mode 1cc and graze counter GM. And I'm playing this on Steam. And I'm also going to just talk about how I feel about the game. Uh, almost kind of give it almost a little bit of a review in a sense while just kind of giving commentary on my gameplay and with this playthrough um, yeah I'm using this ship which is the uh, the Grand Cross uh, ship from the game um, uh, Grand Cross which is a pretty interesting game you should definitely check it out and yeah, this is an interesting game <laughs> in it, in of itself. So basically, um, as you kind of already see, you know, you have two meters on the bottom. You got your graze counter and your brake counter. You get um, your uh, graze counter filled up by grazing bullets, and then you um, you can you know choose to use your graze counter, which cancels bullets gives you um, a little bit of invincibility depending on when you cancel it and then those bullets and enemies turn into the um, uh, to stars and then it fills up your break gauge and you see I'm, I'm restarting and stuff right here because <laughs> this first stage is kind of weird and then when you use the break you go into uh, like a mode of invincibility for I think a brief amount of frames and then your shot strength is increased and it increases your multiplier on the top right as you see those big numbers and this ship is overpowered because its brake mechanic is um, the blade <laughs> and and the blade just like um, freaking deletes bullets and turns them into stars and you're like completely invincible it seems like during the the whole break period and we'll see more of that when we go through uh, the rest of the, uh, the playthrough and it's almost like a scoring ship because <laughs> survival is like next to nothing and you can just get so many points from like look what I'm doing I'm just like turning all those bullets into stars and I even need to go into Grace Connor right there maybe because I didn't realize I'm like fully invincible why are you doing it And then right here, um, it's like Cho and Shy, you go in the middle to get all three. And I think I tried right there and my time was off. The timing is a little weird with that. All right, so here we go. So I got my break now. And I have to rotate the blade. Just put it right in the... <laughs> Um, the freaking the openings or the barrels of the uh, of, of where the shots are at and I run out grab some more do it again rinse and repeat and look at this look at all this now when the break is over you do have to get your grace counter back up again That way you can get the stars to build up the brake meter. Like it doesn't just like fill in the only um, by itself. I think certain ships do that. And there's a lot of ships in this game. So yeah, here I go again. And <laughs> I saw Roland Crow do this pretty much. And some other people that clear this game using this ship. And I was like, wow, that actually looks kind of fun to just like use that beam blade from your brake to just like delete bullets and look 
I'm like invincible pretty much. I know it says no shield. But I'm pretty much like invulnerable. Or it just like completely surrounds me. And yeah, you do have a shield in this game where you pick the auto shield um, card. I think it's, it's only for certain ships though. And we'll get into that when we get into like the non-OP ships. And also, what I'm kind of doing is um, I'm trying to like milk the boss quite a bit because I saw the players doing that. I was like, oh, that looks kind of fun too. And but I'm not as graceful as the other people and I died like, you know, a few times. And look, I got a, I got a one up. All right, so we're now in uh, stage two A, and yeah, this is all stage mode, which is in the extra mode, and you play all the stages in the game. And I kind of feel like, I feel like for some reason it's like it's, it's probably a little more, I would say, I won't call it easier, but you get more lives when you're not playing the the routed. Um, like normal playthrough, when when you get to choose between um, you know stage uh, A and B, and I think the B route is actually pretty, um, you know, a little bit more challenging than the A route. A route feels more like a beginner route, and then <laughs> B route feels more like a uh, advanced player route. Yeah, so look, right now I'm I'm just side swiping all these bullets. And I'm trying to think, do, can I get hit by those um those enemies? I'm not I'm not sure. Maybe we can watch as we keep going. But yeah, look at this. All I'm doing is waiting for my break to end and then I go right back into it after going into graze. And look how long it is. This break mode lasts forever. I bet if they make like a um, a balance patch or something, I, I bet they're going to decrease, um, or, or excuse me, or speed up that uh, that reduction time because that that's pretty lenient. All right, do I get the triple right here? Oh uh, no, I didn't. And I feel sometimes in this um, unlimited extreme mode or difficulty I think the bosses are like a little bit easier than the, than the stage because a lot of the patterns these bosses have are pretty easy to just like get your uh, your graze on pretty much and they don't have anything very very threatening as of like some of the B routed stages now, now look 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 I'm just rinsing and repeating and I got a one up in the process I'm just staying on the side. Now this is satisfying to me. <laughs> this is pretty satisfying. Look, rinse and repeat. And look, I'm getting grazes <laughs> built in the meantime. Look at that. Don't that look fun? It looks, it's fun. <laughs> it looked fun to me. That's the reason why I decided to do it. Yep, just going to the other side. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I do have the vanilla graze counter. I think I played it for maybe like 20 minutes just to see if it worked on my computer and worked um, with my arcade stick, you know, for, you know, I won't have to like refunded or anything like that so I can't compare too much between this game and that game maybe I might go back and check out the original grades counter and see what kind of differences there are see if the game is harder see if it's more easier a little more uh, um, you know 
less challenging or, or you know see or measure the leniency but we'll, we'll see now I'm almost done with this boss time is running out I'm just trying to get as many points as I can now I kind of wonder if I were to do a run with this ship and just like completely milk the boss just like a hundred percent like time them out and see what happens see what kind of points I will get from that damn I'm at nine lives holy crap oh man all right now we're on the B route crystal Labyrinth. I don't like this stage because the stage has some uh, these cube sort of like crystal formations that as of now I've, I've gotten used to I would say fighting against or being a, um, uh, I would say co <laughs> coexisting with and you, you see them right now how they you know I'm like blasting through them and stuff like that but I had a little bit of trouble at first, but now I pretty much like get it and understand it. It doesn't worry me that much anymore. You just still gotta be careful. Now look, so what happens is that you can destroy those and they can hurt you at the same time. And you can graze around them. So if you put your graze counter all the way at 100%, you can just use a graze counter and then like go through it now if you don't have it at 100 percent you know and depending on your ship you know some of them have like you know we can get uh, invincibility at uh, like maybe 50 percent if you don't have that invincibility you're going to get hit and a lot of times I, I got um i will get hit by other things just trying to get away from those and they travel towards you kind of slowly so they, they kind of, they home in on you, they track you, and you can destroy them, and you can graze near them, you know, to fill up a graze counter, then just go through them. But I would just get hit by other things. Look, let's see what happens right here. Okay, I, I didn't really get anything from that. I didn't get hit. Now, here comes the boss. The boss uses the crystals quite a bit. Now I'm trying to remember if I, did I try to, like, milk this boss or anything like that? I think I was scared to because of the cubes. Okay, I dealt with them pretty well right there. Alright, now I unleash the blade. Oh, got hit. Yeah, see, I wasn't even paying attention right there. Oh my god, it got hit again. Yeah, I guess in this run, I didn't really learn how to be, um, get around those things. Yeah. I think I got hit by the um, explosion. So it looks like I'm taking quite a bit of life. Just from them freaking cubes. Here they go again. Yeah, see? I, what happened is I wasn't fully invincible during that uh, graze counter. And, and I got hit again. So yeah, I'm, I'm losing a lot of lives. Oh my gosh. I just want this to be over with. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this thing was owning me. Holy crap. I was getting owned by them freaking cubes. Did I get any extra lives? Oh, I got an extra life. <laughs> oh man. Alright, this stage right here. This is a little challenging too. 
it's a little uh, claustrophobic because like there's a lot of like these vehicles type enemies and they kind of group up really really close to you and you can get hit by them they have collision hitboxes but right here I'm just trying to be cheap and just stay on the side let's see if I take any hits in this stage all right now this big guy right here has some pretty big bullet waves almost got hit now right here I'm just trying to just milk not even caring about killing this boss and that's the thing about the blade that I failed to mention earlier is that um, the blade doesn't really have much damage on it at all it's very very little damage oh I got a one up so I guess that's a little bit of a trade off but I still think it's powerful though because look you're fully invincible or is just fully turning all the bullets into stars no matter where you are right, you gotta be a little careful see what happened I messed up right there. Alright, do I get the triple? Nope. <laughs> Alright, now we are at the boss. Rebel Gear, which is a, a game I've been playing quite a bit. I think I have uh, some clears in that game that I uh, published here on YouTube. And out the grace counter right here. Now right here, I, I think I'm a little confused because when, when they get next to you, it's kind of weird. Oh yeah, if you get hit by that, um, that big wide shot, which is like basically her uh, her break shot. Yeah, you can get killed. It's very fast, and that's one thing in this game that it doesn't have a lot of. It doesn't have a lot of very very fast um, shots toward you. And I think if they would incorporate that in this game, like like just more fast bullets, then it'll be a little more difficult. Because a lot of the bullets in this game from a lot of the patterns are very very slow and you can just like easily just like ride alongside of them and wait for them stuff like this now see look look how fast that is and it killed me I wasn't ready for it alright right here I'm just gonna graze that little spread shot right here ooh see wasn't ready for that now I'm at one life and I dealt with the boss took her out Got a life back. All right, now we're back on the the A route. It's a pretty cool stage, and that's one thing I kind of give this game a big nod to is that uh, it looks great. I love pixel-based graphics. Like I'm a sucker for it, so <laughs> that's the reason why I like this game so much. And I love the ship designs the ship designs in this game looks great like your ships the enemy ships and the character designs you know they're, they're pretty like cute but they're not like super exaggerated unlike um you know i know disrespect you know because i love the game like you know like dreamer i'm not a, a big fan of the uh, the character designs in that game because they're, they're a little too much for me. Whereas in this game, it's kind of... You know, it, it's okay for me. It's, it's nothing too, too... Outside of my taste. All right, now see these little rushes on the side? Stay in the middle. No matter what ship you have. Like, stay in the middle. Make sure you have... Um, some graze counter juice. And then just, like, let it out. Whenever it gets to 100%.
Ooh, almost got too close to them. Not, <laughs> it's a little messed up. Now they have like the enemy wave on top of the item triangle. And I got a one up. And I'm just side swiping stuff left and right. Alright, now we're at the boss. It's time for me to do my thing. <laughs> Look at that. Triple beams. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> and again, I'm just, you know, making sure all my meters are good. Oh yeah, watch out for that pattern. If you're in the middle, you get hit. Listen and look out for the visual. They give quite a bit for um, against or for certain bosses where you can like act accordingly. And one thing with this game I notice is that like bullet patterns, like it, it they're nothing too too creative up here. Like, I, I think the game has very, sort of, like, not very creative bullet packs. And it doesn't help to make the game challenging, especially at this level. At a lower level, fine, do what you want, but in, in this difficulty and mode, it doesn't help. And also, um, I didn't really say this earlier, but the, um, the unlimited mode basically means that the shoot and kill enemies and they release revenge bullets or bullets when they die or some people say uh, suicide bullets and it doesn't help that much because they stay on the screen for a long time and you can just use those bullets to fill up your gray's counter meter So I think if they were to make those revenge bullets a little bit faster, that way you're just not waiting for them after you um, kill enemies, then they'll make a little bit more sense. Oh, I got a one up. And that's how I feel about a lot of the bullet patterns in this game. Just, yeah, everything is just kind of slow and easy to just react to and, and a lot of them are like a lot of the bullet patterns are in like straight lines or just like in like a fan kind of formation or something like that or, or a wide formation where you can just easily just graze on the side so if they made things a little a little harder to catch for you to graze I, I think that might help make it a little more challenging for people now I'm at seven lives holy crap all right 4b this is a cool stage now I think out of all the stages in this game at this extreme difficulty I think this is probably the hardest one because yeah it gets pretty intense like the enemies just like drape you in bullets right here I'm just gonna just <laughs> do what I can and just use all the bullets to my advantage going to my blade just straight up Grand Cross renovation style well in that game you can't really use it in that way like oh, how you doing in this game <laughs> it's more of just like an offensive uh, weapon in this game, it's more defense. Do I get the triple? Yep, I do. And look at that. Look, 
see that particular enemy on the right lots and lots of bullets lots of bullets but because I'm not killing them they're just emitting more and more bullets until they get tired of doing so yeah see I'm not worried at all okay they throw some beams I gotta be careful Oh, here we go. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, we're just skimming the bullets and turning them into stars, pretty much. Okay, what do I do about this? Okay, I just took the one up. I guess I didn't care to, like, try to get the, uh, the triple item. So right now, again, I'm at the side. Just trying to milk the boss. Yep, just rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. And this boss, even without using the ship isn't very challenging. Because yeah, this ship has some pretty like easy patterns. Nothing too crazy. Very, very easy to graze. Nothing that catches you off guard. I'm trying to remember if I am like really, really trying to milk this boss. This boss. Yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> I definitely am. Oh wow, I missed all those stars over there. That was a lot of stars I missed. See, I almost didn't get to my um, my break activation point, <laughs> but then the fight was over, and I got an extra life. Oh my god, three more? Wow. <laughs> They're so generous. Okay, this is the final stage. I like the stage because of the, the blue water and the blue sky. It looks very, very, very nice. And the flow of the stage isn't really too, too crazy. It isn't that hard. They give you some, like, moments of clarity quite a bit in the stage. A fair amount of resources they drop to you. And that's another thing. I think with, like, the extends in this game, I feel like they should decrease the score extend amount. I think, from what I understand... It seems like it's like every certain amount of millions of points. I don't even know how many. I haven't like calculated it or like seen anyone post anywhere about like extend amounts. It seems like it's incremental, like every certain amount. But I think for like this difficulty, extreme difficulty, they should probably take that away and then just have like maybe two or three point extends and then even lessen the amount of one-ups that the game gives you in the item uh, triangle so I think that might help quite a bit because yeah they give away lives like candy on Halloween night <laughs> in this game I don't know, maybe I felt like, it seemed like maybe they were too worried that this game was going to be too hard or something like that, or, or they just really wanted just to make something for, uh, you know, 
new shmup players. But they won't feel too like overwhelmed. Because yeah, this this isn't a arcade shmup by any chance. Like this doesn't have the the uh, characteristics of like an old school arcade shooter. Like, its leniency is just like, so so much. And I guess they didn't want to be an arcade shooter. And I was speaking earlier about like. You know, they make this game for like maybe beginners or something like that. I would say when you get good at this game, you're only going to be good at this game. I don't think you'll be able to like transfer any thing that you learn from this game onto other games. I mean, you may learn a little bit about like you know using your um, you know your, your resources to your advantage like uh, or or meter uh, resource management but you won't learn much of like i would say shmup fundamentals like you may learn a little bit about scoring and like about milking but as far as like dodging bullets of all different kinds you won't get that from this game unfortunately Unless they just completely like, just make graze countering like so much different and make it way more stricter. Because again, you're, you're just, you're grazing things in this game. This is not a lot of dodging. Like dodging is like almost like 5% of the game, pretty much. Oh, I got a one up. So I guess with this game, they, they just kind of wanted you to just like, like not worry so much about dodging and then just like give you tons of reward for just like grazing um, bullets that are in these big, big streams, you know, and, and that are just like, very 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 easy to just like sit next to and build your meter up with and I'm, I mean I, again I like this game <laughs> I, I like it quite a bit I'm maybe because it is very lenient and does have a, you know a, you know depending on your ship you know a little bit of a um, like very very small challenge that is like easily obtainable But I do feel like just using your graze counter is like, it, it's like therapeutic, I guess. Just, you know, blasting through all these bullets and stuff like that. Getting your break counter up using that. So if you want like a, a shooter that has like a fair amount of challenge, I think you'll be disappointed with this game. I'm at 15 lives, and now we're at the final boss, which I feel is like the hardest boss of the game, and rightfully so. Freaking cubes again. See? <laughs> Alright, now when you go into your break, the boss uh, is invincible for, I think, mm, how long? Maybe like half of its uh, duration? I'm, I'm not sure. So a lot of, of the times I'm using the Grey's Counter Beam or laser to just try to take them out. And I'm, I'm using a little bit of the the blade as well. So, you know, try to milk some points from them. But the real damage is coming from the graze counter laser. Took a death right there. It's all good. Look, I got 14 lives. All right, now for that pattern, um, 
try to go up to the middle where you see the time clock. And there is like a, a, a visual and sound cue to like let you know. But after playing the game for so much, you, you'll just kind of know when um, this boss decides to like fly downward. Yep, see? Just getting as much as I can. Oh yeah, be careful of these beams when you're playing a different ship. I would say just going to break or just going to graze counter if you have it. Dodging it is hard. So I think at this point I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. Look, <laughs> I'm I'm actually just trying to milk now because like the boss is at very very low health. I'm just kind of playing around now. I'm just like playing with my food. I'm not trying to hit him so much with the um, with the lazy. Alright, see, I, yeah, at this point I've decided to just, like, get rid of the boss. Because I was actually a little bit afraid of, like, getting hit again from those crystal cubes and the bullets. So I was like, you know what, let's, let's just end this and not worry about it. So, yeah, one CC. It took kind of a while because I'm just, like, milking stuff with this game. 19 lives. Wow. So... I do have a few more clears in this game that I will show on YouTube. I want to try all the ships. Maybe. I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. But it will be streamed, though, because this game doesn't have, like, replays or anything like that. Um, but with this recording, I used um, the recording function on my computer. So I'm, I might mix it up. I might mix it up between the live stream captures of the one cc's and then also um do the captures just record it locally so stay tuned for that i'm not sure if i'm gonna do all characters but I i'll try I i'll try my best and see if i do them or not but yeah that's about it with this game is this game too easy i i think it can be too easy I know a lot of people feel that it is too easy. And yeah, I, yeah, you know what? I, I'll say, yeah, it is too easy. It definitely is. Once you understand the mechanics of the game. And I kind of hope with, like, the devs, if, if they can kind of increase, uh, you know, the challenge a little bit. But, yo, it's fun as it is right now. But yeah, that's all I got to say about this game.